Hey Aries, I'm here to do your reading. If you have an Aries placement, tap in. So Aries, I see you sitting back and observing. There's something that you're observing now or at this time, or I feel like you once were, and you may have stopped. I'm also getting something about compassion for you. I see you uh, doing um, maybe random acts of kindness, something like that for you, uh, Aries. Let's see what comes out. If not, I feel a need for you too, to do like a random act of kindness just because. So you have scrying mirror shadow. So you could be dealing with a, um, a very shady person, something to do with shade here. I'm also getting you could be sitting in the shade. I'm also getting something about the shade room. Let's see what comes out for you, uh, Aries. Let's go further. Could be doing like a lot of reflecting at this time. Yeah, witch healer. I see you, um, you're doing something as far as the uh, ethers go. You're doing something with the ethers here. I'm getting space. I'm also hearing space cadet. Yeah, intensification. So I'm getting something is intensifying at a very rapid rate, really quickly. This could be some form of work. This could be reading. I'm getting you can read really well. Something about your reading here. Many of you could be reading lines. I'm also getting um, something about a studio artist. Something about um, recording here. A recording artist for you. You could be dealing with a rapper, an entertainer. I'm also getting something about a field here. So this could speak of like um, soccer, football, baseball. I see many of you doing something as far as the field goes. Yeah, Watchtower of the West, Autumn. So the West could be very significant for you, Aries. Let's see what comes out in the tarot. Show me what I need to see for uh, Aries, for the highest good. Nine of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Virgo, or I'm getting something about your independence. Queen of Pentacles, I feel like your money is good. I'm getting business booming for you, Aries. Something about your work, or whatever you may do for business. I'm also getting personal care with the Queen of Pentacles. I see you taking great care of yourself, Aries. And then you have the Strength card. You're very devoted to oneself. Let's see. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, and then you have the Seven of Swords. So I'm getting some type of motive when it comes to deception. So someone could be trying to deceive you. Could be a, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. I'm also getting devotion. Someone's very devoted to a deception or something like that here. What is this for Aries? Yeah, the Hierophant with the High Priestess. So you could be dealing with the Taurus. I'm getting someone's devoted to some type of um, takedown. There's a form of a takedown here or something like that. Something's forming or something. Um, I'm getting something about praise. So you may praise this person or something like that for, for some type of deception or preparations when it comes to God. So someone could be leaning uh, more, more on God or the universe or the source, rather, with the High Priestess. I'm getting, um, you know something here surrounding a Taurus. What is this that you know surrounding a Taurus? So the Tower. So you know that someone's going through it right now. You know that someone's broken, shattered. You, I feel you have an uh, idea of what someone's going through. They may not be giving you much or telling you much. Could be dealing with the Leo. You know that this person, um, Heavy emphasis on key. You know that this person is going through something here as far as revelations go. So this could uh, be the Bible, something to do with the Bible or a scripture. <laughs> yeah, the devil. Look at here. Toxicity. So you may know that someone's dealing with the devil. So you may know that someone's battling toxicity. You may know, you may know that someone's going through it right now in their life. Let's see. I'm also getting something about a... Uh, I'm also getting something about um, obsession. So someone could be obsessively um, watching or obsessively stalking or obsessively like trying to take some shit down. So I feel someone trying to take something down. Someone's trying to bring some shit down. I see them making progress on a spiritual level. The Ace of Swords, the King of Cups could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. I'm getting there's truth surrounding a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. What is this? Yeah, the Knight of Swords with the Five of Swords. So there's some hate going on here. I'm getting gossip. I'm getting fast movement or compulsive energy surrounding a Gemini Leap Aquarius energy. 
So someone could be really clever when it comes to um, battle strategy. Seven of Wands and then you have the Fool. So I'm getting something's backfiring and someone could be looking really foolish at this time. Could be a, a fire sign or a fool. Someone that you just deem is very foolish or some shit like that, Aries. Let's see what comes up for you. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. I'm getting tangibility here. Or an offer. I see someone trying to make you an offer. You could view this person as very foolish. Could be a Virgo. Leo. Fire sign. Air sign. Ten of Cups. This could be someone in some type of corporation. This could be someone in some type of corporation here. I'm also getting family unit or dynamic. I'm getting success. Or this could even be a shopping mall. I feel like you could be taking action towards some type of um, complex. Something of that nature. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords. I'm going to end your reading here, um, Aries. There's some recklessness that I'm really seeing surrounding an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting an ending here or someone feels really betrayed or backstabbed by recklessness. I feel this is someone's karma. I'm getting someone's getting dished their own karma, Aries, and this could be something that you know here. I'm also getting comfortable. You're very comfortable with the karma this person is being dished at this time. Something like that. Let's see, let's get a monology for you, Aries. Monology for the Aries. So you have, what do you need to release? So I feel you trying to release some type of negativity. There could be some, some type of negativity looming, 10 of swords after ending. I'm also getting something could be making you sick, Aries. A time to give rather than take. I see a need for you to give more. I think I mentioned that in the beginning. Let's get a green card for you, Aries. So you have celebrity, and then you have giver, yeah. I see you're very well known for giving, Aries. I'm getting you have a giving heart, and you're well known for it. I feel like you're well known for something else here as well. Like you may give too much, something of that nature. You may need to stop giving so much, Aries. Stop giving so much to people I feel who don't appreciate it. Something to that effect. This is what I'm getting for you, Aries. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book that personal reading. And don't forget to check out some of these beautiful roses. I know they will look nice in your house. Just check out the link in my description. And y'all get with them for me. All right, Aries, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.